Hello, Jennings students. This is Miss Wurzel coming to you from her home. I miss you all very much. Uh, this week, I thought we would learn about the next thing on our curriculum, and it's called texture. Texture is the way something feels. So we can talk about texture as like, oh, my hair is the texture of my hair is soft, or the texture of this rock is bumpy. Right? It's the way something feels. How we describe it, which I believe is called an adjective. All right, so for texture today, I'm gonna to teach you how to do a rubbings. Now, rubbings are when you take a, hold on, piece of paper, a white piece of paper, so all you need for this are a white piece of paper and various objects from around your house. So I've got some, uh, I think this was the wrapping from a kid's toy or maybe some fruit that mom or dad brought home from the grocery store. I've got a piece of packaging that came in a cardboard box recently that I thought had cool texture. Here it is, it's all crinkly and lumpy. Uh, you can go outside and gather leaves and try to find some interesting texture with nature. We have this leaf here, and I got some really bumpy hard texture with my stick here. Uh, last but not least, I have this random piece of wood that was in my house that I was thinking about painting, but it has some cool, smooth texture, right? So it doesn't have to be extreme. It can be, even be very subtle and soft. All right, so the way that you do rubbings is you can use colored pencils if you have them at home. If you don't have colored pencils and you want to use regular lead pencils, that's fine or you can use crayons, okay? So all of these things can be used for rubbing. So all you're going to do is take the piece of paper, place it on top of the object, and then lay your pencil to the side. So you don't wanna go vertical, you don't wanna go up and down, you wanna go horizontal. So you lay your, um, your writing material on its side, and then you go back and forth, and you just rub on there. And you can see how the cool texture of my rock is coming through the paper. So I'm gonna hold this up to the camera. And check out my texture rubbing here with just a regular lead pencil on a rock. Okay? Next, I'm gonna try the colored pencil and I'm going to use my fun packaging here. So you've taken the same piece of paper, because right now we're just experimenting and playing, right? We're just kind of figuring out what we want to use. So I'm going to take my same piece of paper, my colored pencil, lay it down on top, and I'm going to rub. I'm so fast, I'm going so fast like the flash. I should have my flash be green. You know the one from above my desk? Yep. All right, so I'm rubbing, and with my colored pencil, I get just a few marks. Now, this one's not super strong. It's not as strong as the rock, but that's okay. All right, I still have some free spaces over here to experiment and play, so I'm gonna try the stick next. We'll go back to nature. I'm gonna take my stick, and I like using the pencil, so I'm gonna put the piece of paper on my stick, turn my pencil side, horizontal, and rub again. And so again, I'm getting some really cool bumpy texture. So this one's not very big either. My assistant here, Miss Pepper, who you all know, she's in third grade at Jennings, has brought Flash to me. So you can try to make your rubbing arm go so fast that it's like the Flash. Okay, so exhibit A. All right, last but not least, in your second part of your lesson. So this is two parts. You can split it up into two different days if you want to, or you can do it all at once. So you collect your objects, you get your paper and your rubbing material, pencil, colored pencil, or crayon, and then you play an experiment. That is the first part of it. So we, I just showed you how to do the first part. This doesn't look like much, but I think the exploration that we do in class is really important so try to do some of that exploration at home then we're going to take what we learned and we're going to apply it to a landscape now right before we left school uh, for spring break we had been talking about landscapes especially with some of the grades and a landscape is a picture of land it can be any kind of land 
It can be a jungle, a forest, a desert, an ocean. You can even come up with some on your own, right? Maybe ones that I didn't even bring up right now. And I have drawn the outline of my landscape here. So here's some mountains and a river, a, just a basic sun and clouds, okay? Now I'm going to take the objects that I chose for rubbing, let's see, my little fruit thing here, and I'm going to lay my landscape picture on top of those objects. So then I get to use my texture, let's use a different color pencil, my texture you can even hear it. If you listen quietly, you can hear the sound of me rubbing my texture on my landscape. So we're taking our ideas about texture and we're doing rubbings on top of our landscape. So this almost, because of the texture and because of the color I chose, this almost looks like a volcano. That could be really cool too. All right, so here we go. I don't know if you can see this, but it created little tiny dots on the piece of paper from the texture of my fruit wrapping. Okay, this white thing here. So that was kind of fun. So you can just play with textures. The first part, again, is just playing with textures. You can use regular pencil, color pencil, or crayon. And the second part is applying it to your landscape. Okay, if you wanna just stop here and just play, especially if you are like around kinder and first grade, that is awesome. Like that is great, just let yourself explore. Upper grades, you could probably do a little more application, okay? All right, but most importantly, I love you, I miss you, have fun finding weird things to play with. Oh, and my assistant is giving me my art hat. So, until next time, be a great artist.